<clears throat> Hi, dear friends. Um, that's it. We are at the entrance of the Temple Mount. We are waiting here. As you can see, we are with some people here. Uh, Yehuda has just been on the Temple Mount. And right now, we are going um, up. We just prayed with him. He found us. And uh, we didn't connect exactly at the same time. It took a bit longer for us to arrive here. Oops, sorry, let you see me. Um, okay, I want to show you something and I'm going to turn my, uh, if I can turn my things, yeah, that's it. I want to show you, this is a temple, okay? A replica of the temple, how it was. And we're going on the top there. You know, friends, this is a holy thing to do. We know that a lot of people will love to come here and right now they can't because of the corona. And we feel Martin and me, he's waiting over there also, you see. He's over there. And we are with all these people right now. We're going to see if we go with them or if we are going by ourselves. And um, we so today okay is the time for us to go and be with you you see you can see now where was the temple the first one on the top there and this is the one how it is now okay and we really feel like Yehuda Glick that is so important that we are going into the house of our father he said that this place will be a house of prayer for all nations as it is the time for us to speak about these things. It's time for us to stand and pray from here. You know, I was learning yesterday that um, when, when there was plagues, it was very often, it was very often uh, about the temple. So it was, um, I wonder if we can go maybe. Can we go up now? We are waiting for with all the group. Okay, Yehuda is gone. Is going to be gone. I just speak with him. But Yehuda, yeah. up in the temple. Yeah. Minutes go out right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So can we just go, Martin and no. me? No, we go. No, 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 no. I know. Oh, but can we go just individually, or we go with the group? Okay, okay, it's good. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Not the first time, yeah. No, 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 it's not the first time. Okay. It's not the first time. Okay. Okay. okay, so we are waiting to be with the group. Yehuda is going out uh, very soon. And uh, that's it, is how it is. So we can just wait for a little while. And uh, okay, I'm going to show you again this temple so you have the time to look at it. It's a beautiful replica. See that inside there, this is where they were doing the offerings. Oh, okay, that's it. We're going now. Is all the group okay? So I'm putting back my glasses, I'm putting back my mask because we are very close to everybody. I hope that you can hear me okay. Okay, let's go. You know, this is just amazing. Thank you, God, that we can be here today. This is a privilege and we are going, Martin and me, with you, okay? This is not just us who are going, it's us who are going with you and we are together, okay? We are together because it's so important. And you know, we say how happy it is for the people to go onto the mountain and who is going, who ascends the mount is the one who have pure heart and clean hands and we need to keep our hearts and we need to keep our uh, hands pure it means that we need to look at what we're doing every day and see if we're doing the right things and and keep ourselves keep ourselves keep ourselves good so now we're going up you know by the way Hmm? Okay, no, no. Oh, yeah, so I'm doing, okay. So some people don't want me to uh, 
take uh, to take uh, pictures so i'm going to put my face again sorry guys <laughs> because yeah sure sure so we stay right now here maybe they are waiting for some more people uh, meanwhile maybe i can show you again that side when we're waiting you see this is jerusalem she's like a sleeping beauty right now there is not very many people no tourists and um and we're praying i think god is telling us pray pray seek my face you know this plague of corona is all around the world here in uh, in Israel, I was looking yesterday, and they say well, that we are the third country where it's going so high right now. It was Russia and another country, I can't remember, and after it was Israel. So we are not in a good state. And, and in one way, it's good. It means that we need to pray. We need to um, really ask the Lord, what's up? Where, where are we at? And in my heart with Martin, we know that as the nations, we need now to really um, join Israel. We need to align with Israel because Israel is the nation that God has created to bring the light to the nations. They have something and sometimes we haven't, we've been, it's been obscured, okay? We haven't seen the light that they have. We haven't seen how important is the Torah. And sometimes we don't know so much how to read the Torah. And so there is a lot, you know, like, I mean, I was doing some Hebrew lesson to people and say, you know, even learning Hebrew, you have to learn to write, to read the other way around. Um, the letters are not the same. That's what we are used to. The Hebrew calendar is different than the Gregorian calendar. But you see, all what God has created at the beginning in Genesis, it was with God's calendar. Like Shabbat was the seventh day. It was the highest day. And us, we just lost all this way on the way, the nations. But Israel kept this way. They know that Shabbat was the more important. And they kept this uh, they kept this uh, this day till now, so we really, really have to reassess our way of living, our way of thinking, and uh, is we have a lot of change I think to do as nations. You know, when our nations are against Israel, our nations are saying, no, we don't want Israel to have Samaria and Judea. How how dare! how arrogant we are to speak about all these things. God said that the land of Israel was the land of the Jewish people, is the creator of the universe who said that, and us, we argue with him. Something is really wrong. Our nations are not acting properly. We need to honor Israel. We need to honor the work that God has done. Obviously, they haven't done, we know, they, they have lost their way also. Maybe they didn't also take seriously the heart of the matter and they were exiled. But God is bringing them back here and they say, now I want my people back here because my people is going to speak again to the nations. My people is coming back to me. You see, like you have, um, you have, uh, Yehuda, who goes on the Temple Mount and say, okay, we need to be together. We need to seek the Lord together. This is very important. Now, I'm going to show you, I just discovered, can you see? You can see the marks. People can pray, but not so many people. And you can see all the marks on the floor. And thank you for being with me, Peggy and Mary and Roland and Cindy and I saw there was Gerard and Stevenson, Shalom Stevenson. I don't know where you are in the world, but we're so happy to have you. This is so wonderful. And let us pray together. Let us pray together, okay? Let us pray together because it's so important. Now, that's it, I put it back on me because um, 
People don't want to be uh, seen, okay. Uh, I don't know what's happening, we still have to wait, okay. So we carry on. But you know, when we were walking this morning into the old city, uh, it's deserted, it's deserted. There is not very many people. And you see again, we all have this mask in front of our nose. For me, it's like, oh my gosh, you know, we need to be careful with the words that we are saying. This is so important. Oh, somebody is coming very, very fast. I can see him running. He's barefoot because it's important on, you know, not to wear a leather on the Temple Mount because it's a holy place. So there is a young man uh, who is coming, I guess, to be with us. So we might be waiting for him. Okay, and uh, oh, that's it. I can see Yehuda. Oh, wait, let me see. Yehuda is over there. <laughs> you see, we just miss each other. He's over there. You can call him out. Maybe he's over there. Oh, we are going. Okay, we are going. Bye, Yehuda. <laughs> you see, so everybody is coming. Okay, I'm putting back on me because people don't want to take to have their picture taken. Um, thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. So that's it. We are going now up. We are ascending the mount. Okay, we are making an aliyah. When you go to the house of God, we always go up. You remember there is Yerushalayim. Yerushalayim is double because there is a Yerushalayim from above and there is Yerushalayim from down. Okay, and Martin is with me. You can see, that's it, and we're going together. And you know, one day we, we went a few years ago and God was saying, you are like Adam and Eve. And we're like, oh my gosh. And it's like, yeah, like the first man and the first woman, they were also on this mount. And we are bringing humanity, we are bringing humanity uh, here, okay? So we are not going, Natalie and Martin, who are representing the nations, who are with you. We we'll have to wait now. Some people are praying also. Here. It's just at the entrance. Okay, I'll show it to you so you can see. See, this is just the entrance. And I go back on me because people don't want to be uh, seen. So it's okay. And uh, you can see just me. I mean, you can't see very much of me, just my hair. <laughs> but you know, our heart is beating here. Everybody is like oh, that. I know, heart is beating. Going into the house of the Lord. This is the place that he say, my eyes are on this place all the time. When people are praying here, when people are praying here, I'm listening to their prayers. When people are praying towards this place, you see all the synagogues all around the world, they are always aligned with the Temple Mount or Jerusalem or Israel, depending how far they are, because they know that this is the center of the world. When God created the earth, he started from this place and then he grew. You know, like when you, ha you have a seed and when you have a seed, it's tiny, tiny and it grows. Okay, so this is the seed of the world. And it's because of that is so important. And it's because of that we need to uh, have a lot of reverence for this place and that we know that is the God's heart okay to really see what what is in the heart of the people and he wants us to come back to him he wants us to look like he's seeing the things now if you remember this is the place of the temple and Jesus Yeshua was also here he loved the temple. He was spending time with his disciple here. When Herod rebuilt the temple, make it very big, he made this big, huge um, place, uh, plaza. Okay, so plateau. now, now, plateau. now we are on the plaza, which is like a big plateau. And maybe I put it again for you so you can see it a bit. Let me see. That is turning, you know, I have the sun shining on me very strong, so I don't see very much on my 
Okay, I can't uh, turn it right now. When I will be in the shed, I will be able to see a bit more what is on my phone, which is very soon. Let me be a bit in the shed. That's it. Now I can see. Okay, that's it. So now you see, this is a big esplanade. Okay, so this is uh, what Herod built. This was also a church for during the time of, um, uh, wait, I can't remember the name now, after the Romans, a uh, Byzantine, Byzantine time, and now this is a mosque. Okay, but I tell you, just let us take the time. We are here, we are on the most holy place in the old world. This is the house of prayer for all nations. We are not saying that. God is saying it in Isaiah 56. And his desire, our heart, he desire us to be here. He desire us to be joining with the Jewish people. You see again today, it's a privilege for us to be with the Jewish people. I guess because there is no more tourists, uh, they bring us with, with them. And also we say that we're going to be with the uh, Yehuda Glik. So they put us together. Uh, but let us just take the time to connect with God. You see, we are speaking about the Jerusalem above and the Jerusalem below, okay? And we are here at the cross between the, b between the spiritual world, okay? We are where God's throne, where God's throne is. This is, again, what is written in the Torah, in the Bible. We really, really need to go back to the teaching of our Father, the teaching of the Torah, the teaching that Jesus knew. Jesus loved the temple. I was saying that already before. He spent time, he spent time here. He was here with his disciples. And you know, a lot of so, like even during King Solomon, there was a lot of nations who were coming. And when King Solomon came, you know what happened? There was peace everywhere. Why? Because God was honored in this place. And this is the thing. If we honor God at the right place, at the right time, you see, like the festival of the Lord, like Sukkot, Passover, Shavuot, all these feasts are the feast of the Lord. And we need to go back to all these things. God is arresting us with this corona to make us rethink. And we need to align ourselves again with the Jewish people. This is so important. We need to strip all the rubbish, I would say. We need to clean ourselves with the Word of God so we'll be pure and we will understand the mind of God and His mind and His heart. And His heart is that we will be a chad, that humanity will be a chad. He wants the shalom. You see, Yerushalayim is we will see shalom. And shalom comes from the Bet Hamidash, the house of God. This is where everything starts. There is always a start. When a mommy has a baby, it's like it comes out of the womb and it's a new beginning. And when we come here, it's the same. It's like a new beginning. We are flowing with God's flow. We are flowing, we are aligning ourselves again with God. Now you can see uh, again, this was what was built, the, the golden, the golden, uh, I can't remember the name now, Martin? Golden, no, it's not a mosque. The golden dome, that's it, the golden dome. And if you look over there, just above, uh, uh, in front of us is the Mount of Olive, okay? Where there is all the tomb, and this is where the resurrection will happen first. You see, again, the same is that it, when a seed is planted, is the beginning, and then there is a tree. Okay, like it's interesting also when you think about the name for Christians is not ser, uh, 
notaire is also a branch, okay? So we have been put on the branch, on the olive tree, okay? We are not, we are not an olive tree. We have been put on the olive tree, okay? So it's us who are joining the Jewish people because God gave them the blueprint, okay? The blueprint of the Torah, the blueprint of the Word of God, the blueprint of His heart, of the principle, principle that He's giving us is there in, in, the, in the Word and it's us who have to rediscover that, okay? Um, I tell you, guys, you, you can just pray. This is so just amazing to be here. It's so amazing. Oh, okay. It's just amazing to be here and just with you to be able to pray. And we we pray, God, you know this uh, Corona, and you know Corona is like a crown and God is making us also singing, okay, just think that the crown is for the king. The crown is for God, for him to be on his throne. It's not for us to put, to put on our own head. The crown is for our king and we bow down to him and say, you are the king of kings and you are the Lord of lords. You are the one who created the heaven and the earth. We love you. We desire to see unity. We desire, and you know, unity, we say many times, is not uniformity. Everybody is individuals, everybody is different, but we can be together, echad, okay? This is so, so important. God has given us time as humanity, then he created time for us because there was no time before. He doesn't need time. God is eternal, okay? But God created time. Then, this is in Genesis, then he created a place, Makom. And you know, this place is also called Makom. God is called also Makom, the place. So it's to, to show you this is you have to imagine, this is the kise, this is the throne of God. The name in, in Hebrew, throne and chair, is the same, kise. But you know, at the end of the name kise, there is a aleph. And the aleph represents God. And so it's to show that this is God here. This is his place, this is his chair, this is his throne. And do you remember the vision of Isaiah 6? When Isaiah see the Lord and like his mantle is falling onto the place, this was here. This was the same place. This is where they saw the glory of God. You see when Isaiah, Ezekiel also speak about the presence of God living from the temple and was going east. Okay, it was from here that he saw the Shekhinah, he saw the presence of God living, and then it was going east, which was Mount of Olive. And again, this was at the beginning of Ezekiel, of the book of Ezekiel. And when you look again, you carry on reading the book of Ezekiel, and at the end of Ezekiel, it's written that they were looking towards east, which is this side, okay, this is the Mount of Olive over there. They were looking towards east and they could see the presence of God coming back. And so the presence of God will come back from this place, from the east, and will go back here onto the Temple Mount. And the temple will be rebuilt to be a house of nations, a house of prayer for all nations, okay? In Isaiah. It will be a house of nation, a house of prayer for all nations. So, enjoy to be here with us. Feel the presence of God. Pray to Him in your heart. Pray for your family.
Pray for your people, pray for your nation, that the nations will align also with uh, Israel. This is for the benefit of the nations. This is in Genesis 12, saying if you bless Israel, you will be blessed. If you join Israel, you will be blessed. And this is what the nations has to do now, that they don't have to fight Israel. They have to come and join Israel and say, yes, we love you. Huh? Uh, in English, it's better. Hmm? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. So they were asking me. Okay, some people are praying now. So we are in the calendar right now of Tammuz, we are the, in the month of Tammuz, and it's, it's, we know that is the time where the, the temple was, this, was the breached, okay, first and after it was destroyed in the month of Av. And so now we have like three weeks who are very special, who are remembering of the destruction of the temple. Now you have to understand that because we haven't seen the temple, we don't know the blessing that we are missing. Sometimes, you know, that's it. We don't know when you are not used to something beautiful, you are not missing it. But the Jewish people, in one way, remember more the temple because they knew how beautiful it is. They have writing about it. Like I was telling you before, King Solomon, during his reign, there was peace all around, not just in Israel, with all the nations around. The people could hear the singing. The people could hear, uh, the, they, they could smell also the incense. They could hear the, the songs and the music from the Levites. So there was a lot of things happening and we are not used to that. So we don't know that we're missing it. But I tell you, when this will come back, we will be able to breathe, we'll be able to have peace, we'll have, we will be able to have health too. You see, when there was plagues, very often it was connected with the temple. So now this is a the, we have a plague all around the world and this because God allow it is bad, but sometimes you need to have bad things to happen to bring conscience to ourselves that something is wrong. It's what's happening when you are sick in your body, is something is wrong and we have to do something. We have to find the med medicine for that. And so the medicine of this, of this plague is also to come here and to pray together and to pray to our Father and to be echad, to be together. And this is what was happening for, for David. If you look, if you do a, a, a search in your Bible and, and look when the plagues happen, so often it was connected with the place of God. Okay, sometimes it was in the temple, sometimes it was just when they were in the desert, it was when something happened about uh, the, the sanctuary, okay? But it's all to do with the presence of God among us. And we need to be, um, to have honor, to give honor to his name. And we need to relearn how to think. We need not to keep our tradition, but we need to go back to the word of God and look at it again and, and learn and see what God is saying and we need to align. Like we say, you see, like we have the Gregorian calendar. We have some 
to have some festivals who are not God's festival, like Christmas, Easter, you know, we, we've done a lot of things from our tradition. But I think that now God is saying, you have to come back to me and you have to see what I love, where are my festivals? Because you see, it was from this place when God was saying to his people to come here for the three festivals is because from above, from Jerusalem above, his blessing was coming. So he was asking his people to come very close to uh, him because he said, now look, my blessing is coming, I'm here. So I want you to understand that I want you close to me. This is his heart that we are with him so it's very very important and it's us who are changing we are in a very important time in a new era with a lot of transformation and this is what's happening and you know that's it it's like what what we, we have to rethink we have to rethink we have to rethink so now you see there is few groups uh, you have to understand that before they were going very fast on this place they were going very fast and now they are going much slower slower they really let them even pray in a certain way and it was not like that before so there is really um, something new that's happening in the midst of all of that um, we have to really be humble this is one of the very important things we need to be humble we need to uh, learn we need to come very uh, like I say, humble and, and ask God, you know, what do I have to do today? What I want to be close to you. Let me love my family. Let me bring shalom in my home. Let me bring shalom in my neighborhood. Give me creativity to be able to do things like that, uh, to bring shalom to you know, to, to the place where we are. This is the house of Shalom. This is the house of prayer. The, you know, praying is breathing. Is breathing our, like the spirit who is in us, is praying, is breathing with God, which is interesting again, if you see the corona is a respiratory problem. And here we breathe God's peace. God wants to bring us a new breath and we need to pray to him. Say, Lord, bring us a new breath. Make our heart renew our heart. Make us think. Uh, let us align with Jewish people. Let us align you with your word. Let us honor what you honor. This is very important. So now we are very close to uh, the gate. You can see on the top there. Is the gate of uh, Chachamim, the gate of Misericord, is called. And uh, or also the Golden Gate. Okay, and we know, so you can see over there, this is like the dome is somewhere over there. And this is the east side, okay? This is all the east side of uh, of the temple plaza and this big golden gate is closed see they are making them stopping again they really take the time to be with each other and before it was not like that and now people are able to speak about the temple and are explaining to people the importance of it. And you see, the, you can see uh, the police around really looking after them. The one in white there is the... Oh, I don't know who they are. I guess, yeah, they are the WAF, the WAF people. 
But it's the police from Israel who is looking after the order here. Okay, the WAF is put from Jordan in place to look after the place, but it's the police, who, the police, the Israeli police who do the order. So it's a privilege, you know, to be able to be with the group of uh, Jewish people before you had tourists on one side and Jewish people on the other side, and now they are putting it, they are putting us also, they are putting us also with the Jewish people. So, you have to understand, again, this place from the beginning. From the beginning, God created the earth and he started from here, okay? And when Abraham, uh, <clears throat> when, when he wanted to obey God and sacrifice his only son, he came here, okay? When Jacob saw the ladder who was going up to heaven and the angels, it was also from here. And when David who was looking for a place to put the Ark of the Covenant, again, God showed him, this is the place. He couldn't build it because he had blood in his hands, because he's, he's, done, he's conquered the land. And he said, but your son Solomon will come here. Uh, which is interesting because Solomon, his name is also Shalom. He has Solome, it's Shalom, okay? And it's the, the man of Shalom who built the house of Shalom. And he come here and say, now when the people will pray, pray towards this place. You see, all the synagogues, as I was saying before, are turned to this place to pray. So people are looking towards this place. And, you know, all our churches should have been doing the same. But it hasn't, it hasn't. So again, we need to go back. When we pray to God, we need to turn ourselves towards Israel, toward Jerusalem, toward the Temple Mount. This is a place how to pray, that we'll be face to face with God, because this is His throne, as we were saying before. I tell you, uh, it's the first time that I say for so long here, on the Temple Mount is the first time that I see that they are leaving people for so long here. And it's, it's beautiful to see something is happening in the midst of all of that. And uh, Yehuda Glick was telling us also that there is more people now, more Jewish people coming to, more people who are coming to pray because there was some tradition who was saying, no, you can't come, it's to a holy place. And they said, no, if you don't go where the holy, the holy of holies was, where the temple was, if you go on the plaza, you're okay. So you can see Jews now speaking together, they come here, and there is people praying and people speaking together and it's what God wants, that will be a chad. And us, Martin and me, he's British, I'm French, and we represent these two, these two country. but again our family are from Bolivia and from Canada and from America and from Uganda. So even us directly were in international family and were touching uh, all these nations. You know, sometimes we think that we need to do big things to, to accomplish a lot, but it is not. We need to do what God is telling us to do. And coming here on the Temple Mount is changing the world. You know, there is a story that said about a butterfly. You know, if a butterfly is, is flying somewhere, is moving, is doing a change all around the world. And you have to see that this is true. 
that when we come here and we pray together, there is things that are happening. And we are praying for the peace of Jerusalem, which is flowing from this place all around the world. Um, I had a friend one day who was saying, she was from Zimbabwe, and said, please pray for Zimbabwe. And I was, and I prayed, I'm like, okay, what do you say, Lord? And he said, suddenly he said, no, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Because when the peace will come in Jerusalem, it will go all, it will flow from Jerusalem all around the world. This is, again, this is God, like his little seed. The seed is planted here and grow from here. So the olive tree, by the way, you can see some olive trees here. The olive trees of the Jewish people have been planted here and we've been branches, we've, we are branches of them and we need to stay on that, on that tree. If not, we are like a wild olive tree. We have to be planted, you know, like we have to be uh, grafted with them. And it's very important. We need to learn how to think with the Spirit of God and with the Torah is very important. By the way, you know, if you see trees right now here, they've been planted, but for uh, when the, the house of, uh, when the temple would be rebuilt, um, they were saying that there was no trees on the, on the temple mount. So I don't know what will happen with this with these trees here. Yeah, it's just a little little something that I wanted to tell you. Uh, it's interesting, but you know, again, we are in a time of transformation. We have to take the time to rethink. We have to take the time to pray. We have to take the time to connect with each other. Um, it's like it's a time of connection. It's interesting. <laughs> even if even if um, even if there is this plague and we are isolated, at the same time we are connected even more together, and this is very important that we are uh, connected all together. So you see over there is interesting. So you see the policemen, they are in black, like that one here. But the one who are a bit further up, they are in gray and they are the border police. So it's a different, uh, a different, just for you to know, there is a lot of people on the Temple Mount. So the gray one is, uh, is the border police. The, the black one is the police, the Israeli police. And the one over there with the white T-shirt is the WAF. And the WAF is the Jordanian guardians of the place here. Okay? Just for you to know, because it's, we, we know these things when we come here. It is important to know people who are not used to come here. So let me know also if it's the first time for you to be on the Temple Mount, to visit it with us uh, is important. And uh, we will see, I think with Martin, we know that it's important to do it. So I guess we might do it more regularly because we feel that this is important to do. Now we are moving. So we are on the east side, okay, of the Temple Mount. And we were speaking about when the Shekhinah, when the presence of God will come back, it will be it will be coming back from the east. He, he left, the presence of God left from the east, and it will come back from the east. Now, I heard uh, a teaching that the Shrina obviously was very sad to leave this place because God loves to be with his people. And so it was hovering over the Mount of Olive, hoping then the people will change and change their heart. And you know, right now, uh, I never really understood so much. I'm reading the psalm, no, I'm reading the prophet slowly, slowly in Hebrew. And I can see, uh, I can see a similitude now that I didn't see before, that people were doing their own business, you know. They weren't so 
careful of what God wanted. They were busy with a busy life and carry on doing what they have to do and uh, forget what was the more important things. And again, this plague, this corona, is arresting the world and uh, it's time for assessment. It's time for assessment. I saw many years ago when we came here in 2009, so it was during the winter, they were burning here some wood and it smelled, it smelled good. It was smelling like a pine. And I realized after we realized that it was, um, it was uh, some cedar wood which ha might have been part of the temple or around here. Now this is interesting because today is open. You see before it was closed and now it's open here. Now people are always looking towards the temple. So it's like they are looking this way uh, because again, because of the honor, okay? To give, they know that is the presence of God. So they look that way. But I want also to show you this way, which is the golden, the golden uh, gate, or which is called also Hamamim, uh, the the gate of mercy. And so it's from this place here, then the presence of God, the Shechina, will come back. Okay. So they are you see, a few years ago, there wasn't very many people coming onto uh, the Temple Mount at all. Not very many Jewish, uh, Jewish people. And now, more and more, are discovering that yes it is important to come now if you notice also some people have some city to adjust white and some you know the fringes on the side of the of their trousers and some have blue and white okay and the blue and white is how it was done before and they lost the color how to make it because of the the exile and since few years they find again how to do techelet. Techelet is the color, the blue, this color. And now they some people are having it and some people say this is also a sign that Messiah is coming soon because there is a restoration of a lot of things. Okay? You have also to understand that the Jewish people had been in exile for more than 2,000 years, and so they lost a lot of things too. There is way, like for example, the temple, they don't do the sacrifices anymore, they don't do the bread, and so they lost certain way how to do the things, and slowly, slowly, they are learning again how to do it. So there is a restoration also, which is taking part now in Israel, through the Jewish people and all of us as humanity, all of us as humanity, we are going back to our father and looking at what is important, looking what is important. And um, we have to, you know, going today for Martin, we haven't been going up uh, for quite a long time now, a few months at least. And uh, when the, the plague, the corona started, both of us, we prayed and say, okay, what, what's, what's up and what is God saying in the midst of all the things? Both of us, we felt, okay, we know that the Temple Mount is important and the Hebrew language because they are connected. Because you see, the Torah was written in Hebrew and with the translation, very often we lose things. We don't really understand the mind. 
Okay, you want me to put this way? Me. Okay, okay. Hmm? Oh, uh, in English? You don't publicate this video, okay? Okay. Okay, because I want. Thank you. Okay, okay. So um, I'm putting it again on my face, guys. And so, you know, we are living, we, living, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are living the east side, and now we are going onto the north side of uh, the the place. Now here, I remember I was with an archaeologist, and we're looking on the floor, and I can see there is, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm looking on the floor, but now you can't see. Wait. There was some uh, artifact of uh, they were, when they were doing the sacrifices, they had to throw some the plates while getting too holy. And so you can find some artifacts in just there. It's an archaeologist who was telling us and finding some. and. He was just amazing. He, again, he was an archaeologist who was working specifically here and is one of the young archaeologists who find, if you remember many years ago, uh, the, the Waf and the Muslim were digging a big mosque. We passed it. Uh, we uh, will speak about it another time. We, we, we passed this underneath and they took, they dig a lot out of the Temple Mount, which is the most holy place. And, um, and this archaeologist with his friend find out what they were doing. They were even arrested because it was like nobody wanted to speak too much about these things. And now they are doing the sifting project. It's from all this rubble who was taken out. Um, they say even if um, it's been destroyed in one way, Usually, you know, usually they go with a little uh, pencil and there they were going with the uh, bulldozers. Uh, so it was terrible, but they said, no, we have still to keep all these things and we have to try to find. OK, let me put my face again. Sorry, because the man doesn't want me to do this thing. And um, so, um, yeah, so the archaeologist have done a lot of work and so the sifting project have found a lot of things about obviously different eras but they find some from the temple and they find so something we spoke about it uh, another time they find uh, some um, stones so you can see you can see uh, how beautiful was the floor which was from stones from all around the world. It wasn't just from Israel. And uh, so they, you know, we, as we said, we don't know what we are missing because we don't know how it was. Like again, with the sifting project, we are learning more of um, how beautiful was the temple. And again, if you think about the floor was made with stones from all around the world, it was already, some, you know, the temple, and you have to think, obviously it was the Jewish people coming, but there was a lot of people also from other countries who were coming to pray also there, because they knew that it was a holy place. And so, again, we have, us as nation, we have to reconnect. Like when we are saying that the nations are uh, against Israel, no, the nations have to come back and align again with Israel and we will see peace. And again, I'm saying with this Corona, is bringing us, it's like shaking all the world, showing like we are in the same boat together and like we are human, you know, we are, we are all human beings and we are all going through the same thing. And now God loves us and God wants us to understand 
then this is his place and we can come together and being like a chad again okay it's very important so now we are on the north side and we're going up let me show you again a bit on the side there so i don't take the group too much you see on the side here and so the temple was very close to here and some people say that it was exactly where the dome of the rock is and some other people say a bit more uh, east no sorry north of it uh, we don't know too much but uh, is you know is we we will know one day so this is where we are You know, it's really, really, really a privilege to be here. No, it's not a privilege, I would say. It's an honor to be here. And Martin and me, we are representing you. And please, during all the time, it's like I've never been for so long time on the Temple Mount. They are not pushing us away at all. They are taking the time. People have the time to pray and meditate and, uh, and speak together uh, one thing that Yehuda Glick is saying is that you don't run on this place it's a place where you are you are you be you know like being we are human being and this is so important for the people to understand that we are human being okay So you can pray, you can pray now. And Lord, we pray for our family. We pray for the health, mental health, physical health, financially health. That is you are providing for us. Is you are the provider for your people. Is you who are helping humanity is you who are creator is not us who are the masters of the world you are the master of the world and we are your children we pray for our nation i pray for france uh, i saw that macron was saying some silly things i mean was saying again to uh netanyahu no this is not um, you know, don't do anything with Judea and Samaria. And I think it's, it's very sad to see that. So again, we hope that France will align with Israel. We pray for that, that France one day will align with Israel. Thank you, Lord, for the French people who love Israel and who are serving you and love you. We pray also for England England who helped for the Balfour Declaration, the sad leave done the white paper after I was reading more things about it. And this was so sad, so sad to see that uh, during the Holocaust, they were not allowed people to come here. And they lost, they lost a lot of their lands after the British Empire just collapsed because they didn't bless Israel. So Lord, we pray again that the UK will align again with Israel. We pray for the nations, we pray for Uganda, we pray for Canada, we pray for America, who are also in a bad state with this plague. And we pray that you help them find your way, find your way again. It is so important. Okay. I'm putting, so we are, see we were over there and we come back on this path here. Now, if you go over there, you see there is uh, schools, uh, Muslim schools over there. And this is the north side. And now we are going, uh, so we are following the north side. And we will go onto the west side.
Kaffee. You can pray your own prayers too. I was telling you again, it's really the first time that we've been, first of all, with um, for so long with Jewish people. Uh, like we've been once before with a Jewish group, but it was very fast. It was around Sukkot. Uh, not this year, it was already the year before. But this is the first time that again we are with a Jewish group and uh, they really give them the time now to be there and walk and speak and uh, it's just amazing let me put me again so people can not see too much um, so enjoy we are on the temple mount and is uh, the first day of the week, Yom Rishon, is uh, Sunday, the 12th, I think, I think it's the 12th, oh no, it's not, it's more than that, what is the date today, okay, sometime in July, <laughs> sorry, I lost track of, uh, I think it's around the 14th of July, isn't it the 14th of July, can you look, Matt, it will be interesting. 14th of July is uh, the Bastille Day in France, which is not so good. Bastille Day was like, it was during the revolution. Um, he will tell me it is, oh no, no, it's the 12th of July. Okay, I was right. Okay, it's the 12th of July. Okay, uh, sorry. Uh, so, yeah, so enjoy to be here because it's like so amazing to be able to come into the house of the Lord. And we pray that it will be rebuilt, that the nations will be able to come, okay? Like in the book of Jeremiah, he speaks about the sadness of bad time, but after he speaks about the future, which will be good. In Isaiah is the same. I'm just reading Isaiah very slowly right now in uh, Ivrit. Not so easy with, with the Hebrew and the English, but it gives you something when you read it in the original language. And again, Isaiah could see. He was there. You know, again, we have to understand. He was here. He was in Yerushalayim. He was coming and pray here. We have to relate that this is, you know, we are connected to the Jewish people. We are connected to the prophets. We are connected to the Torah. We are connected to the Torah. We are connected. There was a, a his, his story here. This is where David was. Okay. This is where Solomon built. This is where Solomon built the temple. There was people living here. So it's, it's very important um, that we connect again. We are part of that. We are on the shoulders of all these people. So when the prophet Isaiah was speaking, he speak about bad things that happen, but he speak also about all the promise of the future, okay? God in his heart wants humanity to come to be a chad, to be one. Not in uniformity, we can all be who we are, but Echad, we can come and serve him here. And this is, you know, this is my, my psalm, that, no, my verse that I like very much in Zephaniah 3.9, that um, is written that God will give us again a pure language, which is the Hebrew language, so that we will serve him will be one, no, no, sorry, so that we will serve him, okay, 
and that will be Shrem Echad. And Shrem Echad means one shoulder. So it means that we will be so it means that we will be together. Okay? So this is very important. Is what is God's desire that we will be one people. That God is one and will be one with him. This is his heart. This is how it is for him. Okay? Now there is some there is uh, some Jewish people who are asking to go a bit on another side, uh, maybe to explain something. Yeah, I'm going to show it to you because it's very interesting. Where he is, where the man is standing, is it was the wall of the first temple. Okay, so all the parts from where we are to where he is, this has been added by Herod. Herod done a lot of work. He made this place much bigger. Okay, but the first temple was finishing the wall is at, at the feet, where, where the man put his feet, it was the wall. Okay, so it's important, I think he wanted to tell uh, this to the people who are coming so they can understand uh, what was, uh, what, what, what was, what is the history. So all this part there have been added from Herod. Herod did a very huge work, okay? Somebody was saying that um, he, want, he, he wanted to do that because he felt bad and he wanted kind of, it was part of his repentance. Uh, I will need to ask somebody if it was, if it's like just a story of his uh, reality, like his story, uh, but this is what I heard, okay? So now we are again on the west side when we came in, we were like just at the very far over there in front of us and went all around. And now we are going to go out very soon on the west side. Okay, so you have to understand that the Kotel is on our right down. Okay, us were up and the Kotel is part of the wall but the western wall so it is the western wall of the temple okay sometimes we forgot to say when we say just western wall it was the western wall of the temple of Herod when he built it uh, bigger okay so like all where we are walking it was added by Herod and before you saw the wall it was a smaller plaza so friends uh, what a privilege again, what an honor. I would prefer to say that. It's an honor to be with you. It's an honor to pray here. Uh, yeah, by the way, here, I know. Here, this is some, uh, some um, kever, 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 grave of uh, Islamic people who's been put here. There is few over there which is not really, yeah, it's not really the place to be buried here, but this is what they've done. Now you have to remember that when Israel in 1948 had the country and declared the country, they lost Jerusalem East Jerusalem and so they could not come here for 19 years okay till 1967 so you have to understand that this is amazing and a miracle that Israel now and the Temple Mount is in the hands of the Jewish people since 1967 and that we can come again here to pray in 1948 to 1967, nobody was able to come here and they, can't, they couldn't even go to the Western Wall. So this is, you know, redemption always come step by step. It doesn't come in one go. Again, like a tree who was speaking about the seed at the beginning. A seed is planted and grew, okay? And like God has planted seed 
in his mind and put it in our mind to see his kingdom coming and step by step. And redemption is coming step by step. So now you can see we are, we are on the west side. We are very soon coming out. People like to take pictures or so here. And uh, we pray that his house of prayer for all nations will be built here. We pray together about it. We desire it. We start to have in our conscience that we are missing something. I think, you know, I, I heard some people saying, I can't go in Israel and now I'm, I want to. I'm, I'm, I want to come. I have friends who say I want to come and I can't come right now. And there is a hunger that God is doing in the heart of the people. And they are looking towards Israel. And they are thinking, when, when will I be able to come back? And I think this is a longing that God wants to put in our heart to be able to see, to feel his heart, okay? This is where God's heart beats. Uh, when I was speaking with Yehuda, like praying before, is suddenly I was very emotional because I could feel that, you know, we're living in a new era. It's difficult. It's like a, a mother having a baby is wonderful, you know that the baby is coming, but the pain is very painful. And we need to, there is wave of pain. But we know that the baby is coming, so we have to rejoice in that. But we're still in pain, you see? And so don't be confused, it's, it's okay. You can have hope, but you can be still in pain. And this is, I think, where the world is right now. We're in pain but we know that redemption is coming. And, and God is helping us to understand more that yes, we, we are coming in a time uh, is essential. You know, every day is important. It's not every day is important. It's not oh, just one day. You know, sometimes we feel like, oh, this is just a day and I hope for tomorrow. No, but the day of today, will be gone. So we need to live this day. Like you see, when you come here, it's like we are human being, not human doing, we are human being. And this is what God wants us to be. And we pray that now, God, we pray that we will learn to be human being and, and not human doing. Thank you again for the honor to come here. Thank you again to be together. Thank you for this honor. We pray for our people who are watching now. We pray for their families. We pray for... Um, wait, I don't know if he's... Oh, he's still on the... Okay, I can't see right now. It's too bright. So it's just on the people. Uh, we pray that we'll be human being. We pray that we won't be human doing. We pray for the nations, Abba. We pray for the one who have a lot of corona. We pray that you protect the people, you protect the leaders. I heard there was few leaders who have the corona. We pray for leaders, that you protect them, you give them wisdom, how to lead the country in this time of turmoil. Give them your wisdom. And we pray that Israel again will be able to help also the country to give wisdom, that they will be a light to the nations, that they will help people. Thank you for giving us, make us being alive in these days that you are in charge, that you are our Father, that you look after us. 
that you are a good God. Thank you, Lord. And this time now, we are going, we are going out. We are going out. Guys, I hope that you enjoy to be with us. I'm sure that you, you have. Thank you for... We bless you. We bless you from Zion. We bless you from Zion. Bye, guys. <laughs>